Hello and welcome to Blender Bite Size. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make this material procedurally in Blender. Feeling lazy? You can support this channel and skip the hard work by grabbing the blend file for this material from Gumroad for just a pound. Feeling flush? Feel free to throw some of that coin my way using the coffee link in the description below the video. Okay, let's dig into this material. Uh, just a reminder, I have a principled shader applied to the object that I've got loaded. I'm in the shading tab. I'm going to enable viewport shading and I'm using the cycles render engine. So let's start by changing the base color. I'll go for something like 0 0.025, 0 0.015. So we'll go for a black rubber instead of the red that you saw at the start of this video. We're going to press Shift A and search for and add a noise texture. We'll press Control T or press Control, uh, sorry, Shift A and search for a mapping and texture coordinate. Plug the object from the texture coordinate into the vector of the mapping node. And the vector from that goes into the noise texture. And we're going to take the factor from that and plug it not into the base color, but into the roughness. And you can already see things happening here. Now, <coughs> excuse me, we're going to grab a color ramp to control that a bit more. And we're going to bring the black over to position 0.25. So you can see it's kind of all over the place. We'll change the scale on the noise texture to 0.3, detail to 15, and the roughness to 0.625. Now we're also going to add a bump node. Plug that into the normal. And plug the color output into the height. Now we need to move these off to the side a bit. We need a bit more room. Next I'm going to duplicate the noise texture and the color ramp. So select them and press uh, Shift D. Connect the vectors from the mapping node to the noise texture. On the color ramp, change that to Ease. And bring the black to, let's say, 0 0.55. Uh, we're going to need to plug this into a bump node, but we need to obviously uh, duplicate the bump node. Plug the normal into the normal, and then the color from here goes into the height of this one. On the scale for the second noise texture, we're changing that to 10. Detail of 14.5 and roughness of 0.5. And this time we will use the distortion and we'll set that to one. On the first bump node, change the strength to 0.1 and the distance to 0.1. On the second bump node, Check invert, put the strength at 0.5 and the distance at 0.1. And you can already see we've got a very texturized rubber material. What we're going to do though here is add a wave texture. Connect the vector from the mapping node. Change the band's direction to Z. And we need another color ramp in here and another bump node. Connect the normals between the bump nodes and connect the color output from the color ramp into the height and the color from the wave texture into the factor of the color ramp. So it's kind of bandy. That'd work good for um, worn tires maybe, worth a look. What we're going to do though is change the scale way up 
to 200, the distortion to 14.5, detail to 14.5, detail scale to 2.5, and detail roughness to 0.75. On this final color ramp, we're changing the interpolation to linear, and we'll move the black to position 0.85. On the final bump node, we are going to decrease the strength to 0 0.07 and keep the distance at 0.1. Oh, oh. Over on the principled shader, we are going to keep the specular at 0.5 drop the specular tint uh, and I think everything else is going to stay the same yes okay so we've got everything set up there that's the basic node structure or group or whatever you want to call it so your main color would be controlled by the principal shader so you can change that if you want to like a rubber ball color I don't know what color rubber, rubber ball would be <coughs> looks like the dog's been at it um, and then obviously your texture would be controlled by this region here um, so we'll send this to render I am using a thousand samples and I am denoising using my graphics card so let's put that back so let's see what we get Okay, and there we go. We've got a nice kind of bump texture going on here for the texture of the rubber, and then obviously these bits for the dents and the marks in it. Um, obviously, you can tailor this to wherever you need it to be, but this would be sort of a solid rubber object, like a, a mallet or a ball, something like that. Anyway, I hope you find this useful, and we'll give it a go yourself. In the meantime, thanks for watching. Please remember to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe. In the meantime, thanks for watching. Thank you.